JRL asks, I recently attended AWS reInvent, oh yeah, in Las Vegas, and I was disappointed that a majority of the talk seemed superficial and marketing driven. Uh, which tech conferences have you found rewarding in terms of technical depth and networking? So generally speaking, if, if sessions are only 60 minutes long and there's no learning track, like there's no pathway that says if you watch these five, six sessions in a row, it'll go deep, then generally speaking, you're not going to find good technical depth there. I know that uh, some... Uh, conference organizers are going to say, that's not fair. We have really deep sessions. How long are they? 45 minutes. So in the span of 45 minutes, if you subtract out, a lot of speakers will spend five minutes introducing themselves in the topic. They'll sp allocate five to 10 minutes for Q&A at the end. At that point, you're down to like 30 minutes and it's really hard to go deep. It's not impossible, but it's really hard to go deep in a way that satisfies attendees in that short period of time. Because a lot of attendees, what ends up happening is that they're not as experienced with that particular topic as they thought they were. And then they write bad reviews saying, I couldn't follow, it was hard to understand the speaker, um, or else they already knew the stuff. They, the abstract was pitched in a way that made it sound more compelling than they thought. And they're like, I already knew all of that stuff. Uh, whereas if you spend a day-long session taking uh, attendees through an entire journey on a topic, then maybe the first hour stuff that they already knew, maybe the last stuff is uh, uh, last hour stuff is too hard and they can't keep up. Um, I'll give you a great example. Bob Ward from Microsoft is a speaker who has a legendary reputation for going extremely deep. His sessions are often, his, his 400 level or 500 level sessions are often two, three, four hours long. And even at that point, when people know going in that it's a hard session, you'll often see people saying, I, I gave up like an hour in and I couldn't follow along. And no, no, I'm not saying his sessions are bad. His sessions are fantastic and I enjoy sitting through them. Um, but if you want to go really deep, that, that's the kind of length that you should look for. Um, I would also say that conferences tend to not be the best place to go deep. If you really want to go deep on a topic, you're typically better off uh, finding someone's blog who's an expert on that topic and following a series of videos from them and a series of blog posts where they can take the time to go deeper. Um, now, you, you had two parts to your question. One, the other part of that was, uh, let me get my, get back into there. Uh, you said, what were they rewarding in terms of technical depth and networking? Um, so while I, I don't go to conferences for technical depth, I do go for breadth to get exposed to a whole lot of topics. Which ones are good for networking? If you want to learn networking or if you want to do networking, a lot of times I don't even go to sessions at all. Like I'll go to a conference and just attend what we call the hallway track. Uh, meet up 